So this is practical X5, the determination of sodium hypochlorite in household bleach. Hypochlorite time with the sodium ion here. Determination of the chlorate concentration or the hypochlorite concentration in bleach. Uh, so as a procedure, you have a method, you have a standardization of the sodium thiosulfate solution and then the determination of the sodium hypochlorite in bleach. So part A, it asks you to weigh accurately about 0.1 grams of potassium iodate, which you will record, and transfer it quantitatively to a clean conical flask, and then add 25 ml of water and 2 grams approximately of potassium iodide, again with recording the mass, and swirl until all the solids are dissolved. And you should have at this point kind of this a liberated iodine in solution which is a murky brown and then I'm going to start to say this murky brown solution here you will need to fill your burette up as asked here um, with the um, sodium thiosulfate so I'm going to move this forward so the student is filling the sodium uh, the burette up with sodium thiosulfate so I'll show you how to do this more in the laboratory as we move through this and I'm moving back and just moving back here in May. So when the student is going to start to titrate this, so it should be under here, adding quantities of the thiosulfate in. We see a colour change, so it asks you to observe here iodide titration could be self indicated, but if a few drops of starch is added, um, the iodine colour is pale yellow. And then the final colour is blue black. So the student here is going to take some starch and pipette in, we will see in a moment, pipette in a quantity of a starch, maybe two or three uh, drops of starch. So here's the disposable pasta pipettes. I'm going to take a quantity of starch. And the student adds this to this flask, and you see. All of a sudden, the flask is going to a blue-black colour. The triiodide ion forms with the iodide ion and the iodine to form I3 of the minus charge, which is a blue-black colour. And then with a the swirl, the student is then going to add some more thiosulfate to discharge towards a colourless liquid or colourless solution. So we'll see this, and you see. Students, see there you go, it's clear and colourless, so that's what you want. I'm just pausing that there. So you're asked here in the standardisation to do a rough titer value, and then if your titer value was, let's say, 10 mil as rough, you go back to 8 mil as a full addition, and then the last 0.1 mil you would add per rotation of the key, 180 degrees rotation of the key is 0.1 mil. Um, I shall hopefully show you this in the lab as a more... Um, structured kind of information packed as a demonstration in front of you about how to use the burette but um, the student then should do two concordant results within 0.1 mil of each other and leave part A alone and what we see here the student then needs to pipette 25 mil of bleach into a 250 mil volumetric flask make up to the mark and then with a clean pipette transfer out as it states 25 mil aliquots into the conical flask again add the iodide and this time some acetic acid and titrate this with the 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide that you standardize at this point